Uh, President Biden is pushing back against recent coverage of his age following the special counsel report that calls his mental acuity into question. The president has reportedly expressed frustration with the scrutiny of his mental fitness, and campaign officials have spent weeks chastising journalists over what they see as unfair treatment from the media. Joining me now is James Golden, also known as Bo Snurdly, host for Rush Hour on WABC Radio. Uh, Bo, it's good to have you back. I mean, you know, obviously the White House is sensing something different uh, from some of these outlets that they're usually buddy-buddy with, right? I mean, what's been your characterization of the media's coverage in this time? Well, instead of being so frustrated, the Biden administration ought to send somebody to the White House basement, pull out those presidential knee pads from the Clinton years, and get on their knees and thank the press for the coverage that they've had for four years. If you contrast this press and their coverage of Biden and what they did during the Trump years. For instance, Washington Post, even before Trump came to office, assigned about 30 some odd reporters to him. Now, you look at the press coverage that they've enjoyed. Uh, there has been no curiosity from the mainstream press about the uh, financial dealings of the Biden family. They have not reported accurately at all with any curiosity about any number of things. Where have the funds in Ukraine actually been spent? Instead, they, they draw this whole thing as a, a horse race between Republicans and Democrats. Look at the economy. Every week, there's another mainstream press outlet telling us, that, telling us that the economy is rosy, when in fact, people that go shopping, people that live their everyday lives know that they are hurting. Two-thirds of American people are, are living paycheck to paycheck. Every step of the way, this press has covered for Joe Biden. So now they're a little upset because Joe Biden stepped in it with the special prosecutor and brought up his son and didn't remember the details. But let's be frank, he's been doing that his entire presidency. Um, and, and I feel sorry for the guy, and many people do, that that he's suffering through this. Sure. And, and Bo, but I'm also curious, what were your thoughts, you know, going back to last week from the New York Times? I mean, you know, the publisher saying, hey, we're going to continue to report fully and fairly on both of these front runners. You had New York Times columnist and, and podcaster Ezra Klein publishing that 25-minute podcast saying, you know, there needs to be another candidate besides Biden. I mean, were you surprised by that coming from the Times? I mean, surely no, that's, no, that's this a is difference. The, Yes, now this is the fun part. All of a sudden from the New York Times, why we're going to be fair, uh, we need another candidate. They realize how deep in trouble Joe Biden is. No one has seen poll numbers this dismal with an incumbent looking to seek another term. We have we are in uncharted territory with Joe Biden's age, and this is where the push is. They want someone else, and they want to pressure Joe Biden to get out. So what are they doing? They're doing random acts of journalism. They're actually reporting news for a change, and they're making a big deal out of it. And let me ask you one more question while I still have you. I mean, the White House has tried to play up economic wins or student loan debt cancellation, but, you know, none of that seems to be winning over voters who are still concerned with the economy and, and also the president's age. With these remaining nine months before the election, in your eyes, is there any way for the administration to neutralize the issue of age? No, there's no way that they can uh, neutralize it at all because his age is his age. But more importantly, it's not the age. It's the fact that Joe Biden is challenged because of his age. That's the issue. If Joe Biden had his full faculties and if he were operating on uh, with 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 full acuity, no one would question his age. The fact is they are hiding him. They have to hide him. The fact is his handlers have to tell him every step. I mean, look look at this, how the baby steps that they use, on the, the short steps on Air Force One, and the man is still stumbling. They can't hide this stuff anymore. So yes, his age is a factor only because of the condition that he's in. And no matter what the mainstream press does at this point, they cannot hide the truth. Yeah. We see what's happening at the borders. People see what's happening with the economy. They see every aspect of this presidency failing them. And the Biden administration cannot hide from that. They have problems. And to your point, it's been going on a lot longer than just this election year. Uh, we'll continue to see what uh, media coverage looks like. James Golden, Bo Snurdly, I should say. Thank you so much, sir. See you soon. Thank you, as always, Marky. Thank you.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.